Hi, I'm Jason Burke. If you have class with me, um, I want you to be really comfortable with Blackboard because we use it very extensively. And there are a lot of features that unless you're shown them, you wouldn't necessarily know they're there. All of my undergraduate courses are structured the exact same way. So uh, the course that I'm using in this video might not be the one you have. The content might be a little bit different, but the structure is pretty much always going to be the same. We all have mobile devices and most of our students have iPads, um, which may lead you to think that the Blackboard app is the way that you should use Blackboard. Uh, to be completely honest, the app is pretty terrible. You'll have a much better experience if you use a web browser. Specifically, you need to use either Chrome or Firefox. Um, Safari uh, is not supported and is really glitchy with Blackboard. Uh, I've never used Microsoft Edge, but it is also not supported. So you're really best off using Chrome or Firefox. I'm going to be showing you this demo using Chrome, uh, but they're all going to be laid out the exact same way. And you'll always land the first time on the announcements page. Um, this is just where I put all of my announcements to the course. Uh, they do come to your email um, and you'll see the most recent ones on the top. Uh, the most important stuff is going to be over here in the left side menu. Uh, if that menu doesn't appear for you, it looks like this. Um, just go ahead and find that little arrow and pop it back out. Uh, and there are, are a number of tabs here on the left. Uh, I always put course information at the top. And so this is where you'll find one announcements, but two, the course overview and syllabus page. Um, it's really important that you access and read the syllabus. Um, I do have a quick overview, right? Just the kind of early portion of the, the syllabus here, um, a quick grading summary, right? So you can see what assignments are coming up and what they're worth. Um, and usually I'll post the class uh, either daily or weekly schedule uh, very, very at the very bottom here. But you can also access, and you really should, a printable version of the syllabus. Uh, this will be a PDF that you can download, you can print it, um, you can save it, uh, where you'll see all of the course learning policies, all of the uh, university policies, uh, all of the assignments, the attendance policy, the late assignment policy, all of it will be here in the syllabus. Um, assignment descriptions, due dates, uh, the learning objectives that each assignment will, will, uh, will hit information about exams, uh, and, and that same schedule that I showed you before. You can also check out the instructor tab, and this is where you will find my bio, but you'll also find really importantly my office hours. Um, and, and so you can find those in there. They might change from semester to semester, so I'm not going to tell you what they are in this video. Um, the next thing you really need to pay attention to is the course content section here on the left. Uh, this is where you will find uh, the daily course materials. And this is really important because I post all of my slides early on. Uh, so if you click daily course materials, uh, some courses are broken down into parts. Some will just have weekly course materials. For this course, uh, we're looking at part one. And you can see that I've posted each day Again, some courses are weekly. Each day's uh, course plan, materials that should be read or reviewed, and the slides from that day. So you can click on it and access all of my slides. They should be posted before class that day, so you'll always have access to them. So you can follow along, you can take notes. Um, you shouldn't need to copy down what I have written on the board because you're, you're provided them already. I mentioned you'll also be able to find the readings. So if you click there and I'm using an open source material like I am here, you'll be able to read the assigned readings for the week. Another really important tab is the assignments and exams tab. And this is where you'll go to find all of the assignment instructions, uh, as well as where you'll go to upload and submit your assignments. Uh, everything is turned in on Blackboard. So I'm going to find for this course uh, the assignment uh, prompts um, and directions, and I'm going to I'm going to actually submit an assignment with you today. So I'm going to look at assignment two here, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to note all of the assignment instructions, and I'm going to read them very closely um, so that I make sure that I'm tailoring my response to accurately respond to the the questions asked of me in the assignment. Um, I'll also have a look at the specifications uh, and see uh, here I'm targeting a two to three page document with at least one properly cited source. So I know that I need to, to do some research, right, to find some sources that I should cite. Um, I'm also going to note the due date. This one is due October 3rd. 
Um, I can see the point value. What's really important, I can click here to view the rubric. So if I click that, I can view the rubric and see exactly how I'm going to be grading this assignment, right? So in this case, I'm looking for responsiveness, the use of course themes, the use of evidence, and the quality of the writing. And I can see uh, exactly what kind of performance will earn the uh, the assigned point values. Um, and so I, I have no secrets, right? I know exactly how I'm going to be graded on this assignment. And I can try to, to, to put my best foot forward by knowing exactly what I'm what the professor is looking for. And if I scroll down a little bit further, I can see that I have the option to create a submission by typing directly in this box. Um, most folks will choose to work in some kind of word processor um, and upload a document. And I really do mean you need to upload a Word document, not uh, pages files, not PDFs. Um, and uh, so I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to drag my file into here and upload it. I can also browse local files, um, but I just dragged my file in there. I can see that it is attached um, and it's got the, the document name here, um, the link title. And I'm also uh, I'm going to agree to submit this to SafeAssign. All assignments are going to be routed through SafeAssign to check for plagiarism. So I'm going to check that box and uh, I'm going to just look it over. Uh, maybe I have a note for, for the professor that I just want to say, you know, I, I worked really hard on this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And I'm going to wait until it stops processing. I'm going to look here to make sure that it actually uh, gets converted and gets submitted. Uh, I would not move away from this page until I'm very positive that the assignment has been submitted um, and that I can see it. I can see the assignment here. I can see my note and I'm going to hit OK. When I do that, I automatically get an email from Blackboard uh, with my uh, submission receipt. So I can see that I submitted my assignment. It tells me the date and time of the submission. Uh, it tells me the file name, uh, and I want to keep this in case something glitches in Blackboard and I need to to show that I did submit an assignment and I did submit it on time. Um, it's always good to have a copy of this receipt, so just save it in your email, hang on to it um, in case you need it. If you did not get one of these, you definitely want to double check and make sure that your assignment actually did submit. And eventually, right, the professor is going to grade my work. And so I can see um, how that work was graded if I go to the My Grades tab here. And I can see a couple things on this screen. First, I can see that the assignment that I just submitted is has been received, but hasn't been graded yet. It needs grading. The professor hasn't graded it. But I can also see that an assignment I submitted earlier has been graded. Uh, so I'm going to look at this assignment. I'm going to click on the title. And I can see a whole lot going on here. I can see my professor's written feedback directly to me, but I can also see that he he marked up the document, right? He, he, he underlined some things that might have been misspelled um, or struck through a, a couple words that may not be necessary. Um, also, he, he highlighted some text and wrote me a couple of notes about it. So I'm going to click on that highlight. And I might have to scroll over to see the comment here. Oh, I need to justify this with a citation uh, or, you know, here's an, here's one I have to move. Right. I, I should move it to another place. So I can I can see that I'm getting lots of feedback from my professor about uh, the assignments that I've submitted. And that tells me that there are some things that I could do differently or should do differently in future submissions. While I'm in here, I can see my grade that I received and I can see exactly how that's broken down by clicking on this button for the rubric. And I can see that I did pretty well on responsiveness. Uh, maybe I could have done a little bit better on course themes. Uh, it looks like I didn't back up my claims with evidence and my writing was really poor. So I can see exactly what I do well and what I need to do a little bit more work on. Other things that you'll want to know about uh, might be the discussion board. Uh, there will be a discussion board, at least a couple discussion boards available in each class. Uh, and they, these will change depending on what the class is and how it works. Um, and then a couple more uh, uh, items at the bottom here. Uh, I have a link to the university library. It's a really great resource for research. Um, I have a link to the, the DSU Writing Well self-guided uh, writing tutorial 
Um, so if you need a little extra practice, that's a great resource available to you, um, as well as tutor.com is a service the university subscribes to um, where you can uh, uh, get help with your papers. You know, if I'm I'm struggling with my writing, um, I can get it uh, uh, proofed, right? I can get some advice on how to fix it. Um, you may also choose to take advantage of the university writing center in the library. Um, there are lots of resources available to help uh, improve your work. So that's basically it. All, that's uh, all of my Blackboard courses are going to be structured the exact same way uh, with the with minor variations for the content and, you know, whether I'm using a weekly schedule or a daily schedule. For the most part, everything you're going to need, you'll be able to access on that left side menu under either the course information, course content or for you sections of that menu. If you ever have any questions, please reach out to me directly uh, by email. Uh, my email address, uh, jburke at desu.edu, is going to be the best way to get a hold of me, and I will happily make time to answer your questions.